Hey you guys, what's goody what it do? It's your girl Abby motherfucker Sue and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this red ombre cut crease for Valentine's Day. Or if you just like it, stay tuned. Baby, won't you come to my motel? So I already did my brows off camera and I'm going in with this red from the James Charles palette and I'm packing it in my crease and then I'm just slowly bringing it into the inner corner. So what I'm doing now is I'm using the edges of my brush to bring up the red into my eyebrows. I don't want the color to be as intense as it is on the crease, so I'm just slowly bringing it upwards. Now I'm going in with this like burnt orange shade just a little bit and I'm using that as my transition color. I would have done that first but I didn't think I was going to use another color as a transition color. I really originally just wanted it to be red but yeah so that's what I'm doing and I'm slowly doing that. And I'm taking the black now and I'm putting that in my crease just a little like I literally dabbed it in like a little bit. And I'm putting that in my crease a little bit because I want it to be um, a little bit more depth to it when I go to cut my crease. And I'm just taking the brush again and I'm bringing the red back in. And I'm also putting it on top of the black too just so you can't really see the black that much. And yeah, we want it to be more red. So now I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Concealer and I'm cutting my crease. I was kind of struggling with my crease um, today. Probably because y'all watching me, but <laughs> yeah, stop watching me. No, but I was struggling a little bit because of my setup, but we got it done, you know. So now I'm going in with my A1 Aesthetics palette and I'm using this white and I'm putting it on the inner corners. If y'all see me dancing and stuff, that's because I was listening to music. I knew this was going to be a voiceover video so I didn't have to sit there in silence or talk to y'all. So yeah, I was bumping. Now I'm going back in with my James Charles palette with this burnt orange red type color and I'm putting that on the middle of my cut crease. Now I'm going in with the brush that I used to apply the white shadow and I'm blending both of those colors in. If you could guess the song that I was singing right here, I would cash up you $10. Yeah. So comment the song and leave your cash app. Okay, and now I'm using that same brush that I used to deepen my crease with the black and the red. I'm using that to put that on my outer crease because we needed to have a gradient ombre look. You know, I love a good ombre look. So I'm deepening the outer crease.
Okay, so now I'm taking some lash glue and I'm putting that on the outline of my crease. And then we're going to go ahead and put some glitter right on top. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Retouch Primer to prime my face. Damn! You ain't got a four head, you got a five head. And now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 450. Now I'm going to conceal under my eyes with my Fenty Concealer in the shade 370. I kept catching a glimpse of myself and I kept peeping I was making a dumb face and I was trying to stop but it wasn't working. <laughs> So I'm just blending out my concealer and I just want to know for anybody that use Fenty Concealer too, do y'all think that they changed the formula? Because when I first bought it, and this is when it first came out, the formula was like wet, you could play with it and lately it's just been drying really fast and I don't really like that. So let me know, do y'all think they changed the formula or what y'all think? Anyway, so now I'm going in and I'm concealing the rest of my T-zone. And I'm doing this little by little because, like I just said, this concealer has been drying so fast lately. So I don't want to put it down and not be working on it because it's going to dry and it's going to crack and it's going to look cakey and stupid. So I was just doing it little by little. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Cream Bronzer and I use the shade Toffee to contour my face. It doesn't really give bronzer for me so I use it as a contour and I was kind of scared when I first bought it because I don't know about cream products too much but it's okay. I like it. It's buildable so yeah. Now I'm setting my face. I don't have any info on the setting powder. Sorry, but I'm just setting my face and I'm not baking. I'm just pressing it into my skin so it looks nice and soft and subtle.
Now I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and I'm brushing away any powder that's still sitting on top of my face. Okay, so now I'm using my NYX contour palette and I'm putting this powder contour on top of the cream contour because we're going to set anything this cream with powder. So that's what I'm doing right now. So now I mixed a red and an orange eyeshadow and I'm using that as blush. I live for blush. I don't care what skin color you are. Find a blush that looks good on you. It really makes any look pop. It really brings any look out. I love blush. And now I'm taking a big fluffy brush and brushing that out and patting it in as well so that it doesn't sit on my face. And I'm using my Morphe setting spray in the gold bottle to set my face. And I'm using my little handheld fan because I'm bougie or whatever. And I'm taking Trophy Wife, ugh, can't even talk, Trophy Wife from Fenty Beauty and I'm putting that on my eyebrow arch just to give it a nice little pop. And I'm putting that on my nose too, in my nose bridge. And then I'm going to highlight the rest of my face. Okay, so I put a white liner on my lower lash line, but you could barely see it, and that liner was so trash, so I'm not even going to tell you what kind it was. And now I'm using NYX um, White Liquid Liner, and I'm going to use that to draw my wing. Yeah, I was struggling with my wing too. I really think it's because y'all watching me. I need to do this alone. Now I'm just going in with some mascara and I'm putting that on my lashes and on my bottom lashes before I add my falsies. So now I'm using this brown Kylie lipstick to line my lips and then I'm using my Fenty Beauty lip gloss on top and I'll put all the details in the description box so check that out. Now I'm going to add some bottom lashes this kind of took a while but it was so worth it.
so you know your girl had to go wand curl her hair and all that so now I'm just taking my fingers to detangle these curls a little bit and I know y'all don't really care about my hair or maybe y'all do I don't know but I just wanted to include this clip before the big reveal So you guys, this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys love this look. And if you guys want to recreate it, tag me on Instagram at caution underscore CTRG. And I'll repost all your pictures. Mwah.